Good afternoon, Fondren. Welcome to this joyous occasion here on the Fondren Point. Uh, I think that's what we're going to start calling it now, Dan, the Fondren Point. I'm, I'm Jeff Good. I've uh, been involved in Fondren for quite some time on the board. I'm, I, 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 uh, I spin pizzas across the street here. And I want to tell you that today, for someone who lives in Fondren and has worked in Fondren for a long time, Today is a magnificent day because this beautiful structure has been placed right here as a beacon to our city. Look, just turn around and look at this rush hour traffic as it's coming across here that says we are vibrant, we are, we are open, and we have free cash samples, and all you have to do <laughs> is come in because the people at the Bancorp South Medical Center branch are ready to go. So welcome to the ribbon cutting. I would like to start off by calling uh, the uh, lieutenant from the Salvation uh, Army, Lieutenant Matt Hedgren, to the uh, podium to give our invocation. Thank you very much. It's an honor to be here at Fondren Point at this great uh, occasion. So would you pray with me today? Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for what today means for so many. We thank you for the leaders that so long ago had this dream and the work that they put in to make this a reality. We thank you for all the employees of Bancorp South to make this a reality. And we thank you for all those that had a hand, from the architects to the contractors to all the subcontractors and every brick laid and every tile laid. And we thank you for what today means for this community. And we give you all the glory. Lord, we pray for the lives that will be changed because of this. We pray for every customer that will walk through these doors. And we pray for every employee that will give their lives to what is, ha is done here. In your name we pray and we give you the glory today. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lieutenant. Please remember the uh, Salvation Army at gift time. Um, you know, it's a little bit overcast and strange today. I think that it's just <laughs> karma because when Vander Crow, the branch manager, moved into the old suntan uh, facility, it's just the ghosts of the suntan gods getting you back. <laughs> yeah. There used to be uh, the original uh, bank here, um, and then there was a suntan uh, studio next door, and now it is just one big, beautiful campus. And that's because of Vanda's uh, vision and keeping it clean and beautiful as a branch manager, and also with her as Wes McManus. Just want to recognize at this point these two fine folks. Uh, Faith, we're going to hear something. I want to, uh, before we start, uh, take a look at any city uh, or state um, elected officials. I see Mr. Tillman with the city council back there, Charles Tillman. Congratulations on your race, sir. I see Ashby Foot here with Ward 1. Congratulations to B on your race, sir. Uh, I, I, is, I, is the mayor here today? I had heard he may be able to swing by. Want to make sure we didn't miss that. Is there any other elected official from state or city or county? Love you to raise your hand, get some props. How about we say hi to the fire department over here? Gentlemen, thank you for your service. I did see Vic Sexton and Michael Davis with the City of uh, uh, Economic Development. So, Vic, there you are. Michael, if you could raise your hand. We really appreciate the fact that you're always here. Thank you. All right. Um, since there are no uh, officials here to um, uh, make any, um, um, I should say, pardon me, I think we want to start with the Chamber of Commerce by having Dwayne O'Neill, uh, the President of the Chamber of Commerce, come and bring some tidings about uh, what this means for the business community. D ladies and gentlemen, Dwayne O'Neill. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jeff. This is a great day. Great, uh, great institution on a, in a great location. This is so, so important. We, uh, I know that many of us have homes in other parts and other neighborhoods, but this area, we all are very envious of what Fondren has done, what this bank has now decided to do right here. This is a this is a great addition to our community, and we just appreciate them so very much. We have, uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to introduce the ambassadors while I'm up here. Ambassadors from the chamber, would you please stand and let everybody recognize you? They come out and say hey. Yay, hey, ambassadors! Woo! And this lady standing behind me that is one of the main people, of course, of the day, uh, Vanda is... Uh, she has been the ambassador. She's, how many times have you won ambassador of the year? Just two. Okay. She, I think Pat she, and I are tied. She and Pat, okay. But Vanda is right there all the time. 
always with us. This bank is always with us in this community as well. And we just thank them for being a part of today's festivities. It's a great day. And, and if, Vanda, if we could have you and Wes come up, we want to present you a little acrylic that just says we congratulate you on this day, OK? okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Dwayne. Thank you, Dwayne. I'd like to invite uh, Michael Davis to come up to the podium from the city of Jackson for a little presentation as well. Michael? Well, good afternoon. I tell you, I don't have a, a raincoat on, so I'm going to make it quick. Uh, once again, my name is Mike Davis with the city of Jackson, Office of Economic Development, and we're excited uh, to be here on uh, Thunder and Point, as I heard it called. Uh, we just want to present a uh, certificate of appreciation to Ms. Crow, you. if you would come forward. And Wes. Uh, Mr. Okay. And Wes. Wes. Uh, okay. So it reads, Certificate of Appreciation presented to Bancourt South in recognition of your commitment to economic growth and vitality in our city. Signed by Mayor Yarber, the fourth day of May. I want to say congratulations and thank you so very, very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. Got one more council member coming in. Oh, okay. 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 All right, the picture will be complete now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I saw David Farr here a moment ago. Uh, he's the current president of Fondren um, Renaissance Foundation. And I, I just want to make a, a, since he has walked away for a moment, I want to make a quick comment about that. Tonight, tonight is Arts, Eats, and Beats. Uh, this is our annual large celebration. Now, one of the things is David back. David, come on over here. One of the things about Arts, Eats, and Beats is um, this used to be the one and only big thing that happened in Fondren, and then we did Fondren Unwrapped, and then all of a sudden it's Fondren First Thursday, and now there's always something going on in Fondren, right? And this is coming from a community that was um, uh, not this way uh, a decade and a decade and a half ago. And by working together, all the folks in this community, the, the, the citizens and the business folks, have created something very special. So tonight is Arts, Eats, and Beats. So I thought maybe it might be nice to say a little something about that, and maybe about the energy substation tonight. Well, that's exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, you. David David Farr uh, with Fonder Renaissance yeah. Foundation. I am the uh, chair of the board this year, uh, but not the not the president of Fonder Renaissance Foundation. Jim Wilkerson, who has been ill lately, is not able to be here. But so I'm kind of a stand-in. But I'm also supposed to be over there picking a key for one of the uh, key winners for the for the blue car giveaway. That's what we're excited about. But we really appreciate Bank Corp South sponsorship of our, all of our activities and the investment they've made in the neighborhood is going to make a huge difference. And we're just happy to be here. But thanks for that. Thank you. you and uh, the substation <clears throat> is a really great story because the only complaint any of us have about Fondren are all these power lines because it's, it's such an intersection for our utility infrastructure. But energy has stepped up. Uh, architect in the neighborhood, Chris Myers, had the vision to suggest it to him. And we're going to have a permanent light installation that turns that kind of eyesore into an asset. It's going to look like public art from now on every night. So Starting Yay. tonight. Thank you, David. So this is one of those times we, a lot of us with the, the chamber and Team Jackson went to Birmingham about six months ago, and Rev, ja Rev Birmingham has done a lot of lighting of the city, and the fact that we're tonight, the switch will be thrown on the first public lighting in this community is great because of Bancorp South, <laughs> because they made this investment, and one investment makes the next, and then when somebody takes a wheelbarrow and cleans the neighborhood, <laughs> it makes the pizza guy clean his neighborhood too. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot going on in the neighborhood tonight. We ha will have the Budweiser Clydesdales uh, out in the neighborhood this evening. And we want to thank Southern Beverage and our friends at Southern Beverage. Where are you? Raise your hand. Is John here or Theo or anyone from Southern Beverage? They're probably putting the, they're putting the horses together and pouring the beer. So have yourself a beer. They actually pour beer from the back of the, uh, the, the Budweiser trailer there. Don't tell anybody who I'm zoning. Um, <laughs> There's some very, very uh, colorful ladies to our side here. The Sweet Potato Queens, Jill Connor Brown. 
They are going to get the microphone at the very tail end of this. We're going to uh, move into the program here with the officials from the bank. Then we're going to have a ribbon cutting, and then after the ribbon cutting, we're going to draw for the Patty Pack Doodah Day blue car. And then y'all are going to be allowed to go upstairs and tour this wonderful facility, and there's a whole bunch of yummy food and drink upstairs, okay? So um, I want to thank DJ uh, Dale Sandifer, a.k.a. DJ D-Day. Say that ten times fast. <laughs> that gets me through the agenda that I was given. I did pretty well. So now I get the pleasure of introducing uh, the gentleman who's been very quiet so far, but he is the CEO of Bancorp South. And this is uh, Mr. Dan Rawlings. And I have a feeling that he had a lot to do with approving this. So ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let's all give a fonder and thank you and welcome the Jackson thank you to Dan Rawlings. I was only given one job, and that was to make sure it was a nice, beautiful, sunshiny spring day for this event. <laughs> I didn't do too good. Uh, but the team we have here is really excited about what we're doing here, and I'm excited to be a part of a team that cares so much about the community they serve. Uh, I get to introduce the team. We've talked a long time about what to call this, whether it was the Suntan location or the Medical Center branch. I just think we need to call it Banda's World, and it would be just fine. <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> Okay, Banda's cool. World, Fondren Point, we'll have a vote on that in a little while, in a little bit. Uh, we do have a great group of team here, and I'm so excited to get to serve with them as, as we try to serve uh, all of the communities that we serve. Let me introduce our team that's here today. Uh, you've already met Banda and Wes, and they're the leaders that are here. Uh, Robbie and Ernest and Kim uh, are right here on the first floor to take care of you. Upstairs, we've got a, a laundry list of folks doing lots of things for you. Jason Brooks is here. Drew McIntyre is here. They should be around here waving at me they somewhere. Are. Diana Sutton is here. Shalonda Smith may not be here. Um, Michael Chandler, Adam Weaver, and Telford Lindsay are all part of our team here to take care of this neighborhood and this community and to help serve your needs. And I just want to thank you all for participating with us tonight. We're excited to be growing uh, and supporting communities just like this everywhere. So thank you for your participation, and I promise I'll try and do better on my weather duties next time we get together. <laughs> Dan, thank you so much. Thank you so much for, uh, for flying down and spending time with us this afternoon and for certainly making this possible. I want to introduce Alan Perry. Alan, I want to thank you for being here. Alan is on our board of directors. Let's give Alan a big round of applause. Thank you so much. I very much appreciate your leadership and your guidance. Thank you for all that you do for us. Um, we started working on this project five-plus years ago. Uh, Tommy Darnell before me and, and uh, myself, Brad Maley, uh, David Barentine, uh, we all had a vision of sitting down at that stop at that red light and looking up the hill and seeing Bancorp South. And uh, it took us a long, long time to get it all pulled together, but it finally happened. And we are so, so proud of it, and we hope that you enjoy it. Uh, we think it adds a great deal to Fondren and to the city of Jackson, which we are all very, very proud of. There's some great things happening in our city. Just take a look at what's taking place right here in, in Fondren tonight. A lot of positive takes in, taking place, and we're very, very proud to be a part of it. We've got 23 locations located all throughout central Mississippi, and, uh, and we're very, very proud of our employees. Many of our employees are scattered throughout the audience. I'd love for you just to raise your hand if you're a Bancorp South team member. Please give these people a round of applause. They came for the free food. <laughs> they came for the free food, yeah. That's all I have to do is mention food, and I can get them together. But uh, uh, I tell you what, you could not work with a finer group of individuals. They are very, very hard workers. They care a lot about their community. They care a lot about each other. They care an extreme amount about their customers and their clients. And uh, I'm very, very honored to be able to work with each and every one of them. They're a wonderful group of people. Um, I do, again, want to thank Vanda and Wes. Thank you for, for all that your hard work. I don't think Vanda slept in about a week or so. She has put an <laughs> awful lot of work into this, as has Wes. And I appreciate both of you very, very much. Uh, Patty Peck, thank you so much for what you've done. Um, Please give him a round of applause. I'll wrap it up here in just a second, but I want to thank uh, Lieutenant Hedrington for being here. Uh, Salvation Army does an incredible job for our community. You help so many people, and we're so blessed to have you here in Jackson now. So thank you so much for being here. Let's give him one more round. All right, Jeff Good. I, I tell you what, I can't thank you enough for all that you do for our city. And, uh, and these ladies over here, had lead, led by Jill Connor Brown, you're talking about some, uh, some wonderful hearts. These ladies have, have hearts that can't fit in this big building. 
and they do so much for the children at Blair Batson. They're constantly looking for ways to help people. They're constantly looking for ways to help children, and uh, they're constantly looking for ways to have fun. And they do a great job at all of those. So please give Jill Connor and her team one more round. I'll wrap up with this. Please come upstairs and enjoy some food and beverage. Let us spend a little bit of time with you. Uh, it's our honor to have you here. Thank you all. It is now my pleasure to uh, make this happen. And the funny thing about this is the person who's going to hold these scissors is somebody who's probably handed out more pairs of scissors to people and more ribbon cuttings than anyone else in the city. Am I right, ambassadors? <laughs> Vander Crow has been a tireless volunteer for the business community in this uh, in this this city, and she shows up at every single ribbon cutting. Doesn't matter where it is, what it is, or how it is. Now she's smart, because networking means good business. Yes. But she's also generous because she shows up all the time. So this is uh, something that you usually do. So you know who you want up here. So I think we want all of our team. It's on first floor, second floor. Uh, Mr. Wallens. Joseph. Is Brad Maley here? Brad Maley, are you here? Yeah, Come I'd on like in. for you to be up here with us as well, Brad. And where are some of my ambassadors? I think they know how to do the ribbon. <laughs> and can I take, can I take, uh, I, I want to hand this to you. Well, I'm gonna, here, we're going to do this. I'm going to hand this to you. And I'd like to take one executive privilege. I see Eric Jefferson in the audience. Okay. I'd like to ask Eric Jefferson to come be in the line. Eric Jefferson is the Director of Planning and Development for the city. This gentleman is under siege each and every day because there's so much going on. He does an amazing job. One of the best public servants we have, Eric Jefferson. Thank you. All right. Uh, one, two, three, cut. Cut. Woo!